Hello everyone and welcome back to another one of my Gmod videos. Now this is another pack tutorial for you, because one of my friends asked me how how to make your weapon glow. It's an easy fix really, but before we go into that I want to tell you to watch this in full screen because I am playing in 1080p and it will be hard to see the text that's going on in pack when I in this in this resolution. So I'm I'm sorry, but I'm I'm really sorry, but uh, you know. Uh, Please watch in, watch in full screen. Anyway, open up pack. If you've watched my previous video, you know how to do it. And you can see this toolbar here on the top where you have the, the pack thing and you wear the, the, the entire thing too. And you have our, your saves and loads and everything. Go into the player thing here, click on T-Pose, and you have this nice little T-Pose. Which will help you, which which will stop the character from moving, basic basically, and will give you a nice little overview of the model. So now what you do, you go to the my outfit, go create a new group called weapon thing or anything you want. I'm calling this weapon thing. Right click on the weapon thing and go to the model. Now we have the nice little circle mo model thing. Uh, now you know what to do you want to move it to the pistol thingy because I want to change change the pistol. So what you do, you have the bone, click on those three dots and move it move it to the hand bone, right hand, because that's where he's holding the base of the weapon. So now you have this nice little model and we have to change it. So what you do, you go to this unnamed category and go to model, click on the three dots and now you can't use you cannot use these models it doesn't allow you because this, these are actual we working weapons what you have to do instead you have to go to your spawn list and scroll down to browse and then open up games and in the games you will find all the games mounted in your Gary's mod like Team Fortress, Half-Life 2, uh, Episode 2, 1 and Half-Life 2 Gary's mod Counter-Strike Source there, is mo there are more games but these are the ones that I have mounted so, you can go ahead and find this pistol model in Gary's mod and in weapons, if you just click on them. You have all these different models, you can go ahead and select this one, W pistol, which is the same exact model as the Half-Life 2 weapons, W pistol. But I'm going to go with the Half-Life 2 one. Two one. It, it doesn't really matter because those are the same. So, now you, you ha we have it in the position here but it's in the correct in the wrong rotation we have to rotate it 180 degrees in this on this axis and let's go ahead and give it a minus 180 and now we move it to the correct position move it down forward and a little bit down back it's not really the exact angle here. It's not the exact 180 degrees. There you go. And if you want to, you can get it the perfect size and the perfect position, the perfect angle. And I kind of, it's kind of in the, in the perfect position and angle, kind of. So anyway, <clears throat> if we have the pistol, and now every time we, we like for example, equip a different weapon, we still have that pistol. And doesn't look good so what we do let's go back to the pistol open up pack again and what you do you have to right click on the W pistol the model that we just created go to event and now we have this nice little menu down here and in this menu uh, you have to go into the event thing that is under in invert and above operator click on the three dots and in this new little window, search for weapon class. And you click on this weapon class, and there you go. Now you will have your new weapon, kind of. Because before we do anything with that, we have to we have to uh, find the, in the arguments we have to find what the weapon is called. And that's really easy exit pack and if you don't know what the weapon is called all you have to do is just go to weapons this this can be done only in, on uh, your own server this can be done in multiplayer on, on someone else's server unless you're an admin 
and give yourself the pistol, the, the weapon that you want to change. And now you go, to, you open up Tilde, which is underneath Escape for uh, English and, and majority of the keyboards. Some keyboards uh, change it to something else, but if you don't know what the what the key is, go to Options, Keyboard, and you also have to enable Developer Console. Don't forget in Advanced, and scroll all the way down, and you have down here Toggle Console. All you have to do is double click and select a new key. I have it on the tilt, but yeah, you can see here that I gave myself pistol, a bunch of pistols, and this is the model name, the name of the of the weapon that you want to change. All you have to do is select it, Control C, close it, close the console, open up pack again, and in the weapon class, in the bottom there and under arguments, all you have to do in the find is Control V, enter. And don't forget to invert. And there you go. Now you will have this pistol will be visible only when you are holding the pistol. But you still, when you're holding this pistol, you still have the other model that you've created. But don't worry, we'll change it soon. Let's say that you want this pistol to glow. So what you do, right click on the W pistol, model, halo, and now it will be glowing a nice little nice little color. Let's give it a nice little visible color of red. Like you're angry and stuff something. And obviously what you can do also with this model, you can like I did in a previous tutorial with the pony, you can go ahead and give it a, a zero alpha. And now the pistol is invisible, but with a nice little glow. And you can move it here, for example, like your character is holding it with his telekinesis or something. And you know, you can uh, change pretty much anything here, however you want it. So what you do now, we still have this pistol thing here. This is also an easy fix. You can you can go ahead and now just close it down, this W pistol thing. All you have to do is go to the weapon thing, right click, and go ahead and click on the entity. Now you have the entity name uh, Shuri Polkat or whatever your, your character is called. And it always will take the name of your, I think, profile. So what you do now is is go ahead and uncheck this draw weapon. Now go ahead, pack, close, and every time you hold a new weapon, it won't show up because we disabled the, all the weapons being drawn. But we want to disable just this weapon. What you do, you can go you, instead, you have to either create a new event and do the same thing we did here, or just clone this thing move it to the entity. Now close your pack and there you go. Now only this weapon will be glowing red and moving outside of your <laughs> of your hand. But let's say let's say you want it to, to look more realistic like you want the hand to look a little bit different uh, you know like he's more open like he's really holding this this weapon. Let's go back into T-Pose and let's give, let's go to weapon thing, right click, go to model and bone. Now in the bone thing, we're going to change the bone from, ha from uh, head, we're going to change it to, uh, let's say wrist. <clears throat> and now we can go ahead and change how our hand is looking. Or no, sorry, not, not wrist, it's hand. The wrist makes it look different. There we go. It changes the entire it changes the entire thing. So let's say we wanted the the hand to look uh, a little bit to the left and fingers more open. So click on the right right hand right click on the right hand bone. Go to model, bone, and select every bone that you want to change, like uh, for each finger and so on. It's, it's, it's a tedious work, so I won't do for every f everything here because it will take so so much time. I, I don't want another 30 minute tutorial because that's boring, so I'm just going to do the basics. And what I do is every time, for example, I change a finger, I right click on right hand and then go to model and bone, and then I select the new finger. 
and if there are there are more parts of the finger in in this bone I go ahead on this for example like in right finger one there's more bones in it so I go ahead and right finger right click on it go to model and bone so you know I keep it organized like I know that this is a hand and this finger affects all the bones of this one finger at the time so you know it's it's organization but now when we exit the pack now we've, well, we've done these bones we exit the pack and we can see that our pistol has you know our hand is now like more kind of open like he's holding it tele with his telekinesis what but when you go to the different weapons the same thing happens to your hand with all these weapons it's an easy fix go back to pack and you have this right hand thing here you can close this down all you have to do is drag it into the entity because I'm sure you don't want to create another event for these bones for, for each event for each bone every time you want to f change a different weapon so now this is a simple fix and now you have it this uh, hand changes only for uh, this weapon and yes I am sorry but you have to do this event thing and each change each model every time you have to create a new model for each each weapon you want to change otherwise otherwise it won't work so this so this thing will be filled with uh, different weapon models and uh, and just you know different things but remember this this fix that you what we've done here only works when you have this this event so what happens if you have more events that change how these bones look well simple drag this these bones to this event and it will prevent prevent affecting the other events if you have more so there you go hopefully you've enjoyed this little video on how to how to change your weapon in pack and if you did go ahead and like the video if you if if you want to and subscribe for more content if you feel like it anyway thank you so much for watching hopefully you've enjoyed this this little tutorial on how to do things and i would like to see you next time in my other videos and you know have a good one everybody see you next time bye bye